Good evening on this Friday, February 2nd, 2024. And tonight's reading will be on a theme of River, National River Day. And feel free to comment below or write down or type below at least one river that you remember from the Bible. At least one river that's mentioned in the Bible. And the one I'm going to focus on is on Pishon in Genesis 40. Well, I'm not sure exactly if it'll be in this chapter, but it's in the theme of this um, open Bible. And it's in Genesis 48. And the reason why is because this video came up several times, which I will watch later on. Alright, I did Genesis chapter 2 already, but that was the first chapter that they mentioned on the River Pishon. And I'll share more links on this particular river. Genesis chapter 48, Blessing of Ephraim and Manasseh. Manasseh. After these things, someone told Joseph, Behold, your father is sick. So he took his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, with him. When someone told jo Jacob, saying, Behold, your son Joseph has come to you, Israel summoned his strength and sat up in his bed. And Jacob said to Joseph, El Shaddai appeared to me in Luz, in the land of Canaan, and blessed me. He said to me, I am going to make you fruitful and multiply you and turn you into an assembly of peoples. And I will give this land to your seed after you as an everlasting possession. So now there are two sons who were born to you in the land of Egypt before I came to you in Egypt. They are mine. Ephraim and Manasseh will be mine, just like Reuben and Simon, and descendants of yours, whom your father after them will be yours. They will be identified by the names of their brothers for their inheritance. Now, as for me, when I came from Padan, Padan, to my sorrow, Rachel died along the way in the land of Canaan, while we were still a distance from entering Ephrath, and I buried her there on the way to Ephrath, that is, Bethlehem. And Israel saw Joseph's sons and said, Who was, who are these? Joseph said to his father, They are my sons, whom God has given me here. And he said, Please bring them to me, so I may bless them. Now Israel's eyes had grown heavy with the old age. He could not see, so he brought them near to him. And he kissed them and hugged them. Then Israel said to Joseph, Do you see your face? I didn't expect. And look, God has let me your see your offspring as well. And Joseph took them from his knees and bowed with his face down to the ground. And Joseph took the two of them, Ephraim with his right hand across the, Israel's left, and Manasseh with his left hand across from Israel's right and brought them close to them. Israel stretched out his right hand and placed it upon Ephraim's head, though he was the younger, and his left hand upon Manasseh's head, crossing his hands through Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, The God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked, the God who has shepherded shepherded me throughout my life to this day, the angel who redeemed me from all evil. May he bless the boys, and may they be called by my name, and by the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac. May they multiply to a multitude in the midst of the land. When Joseph saw that his father placed his right hand upon Ephraim's head, it was wrong in his eyes, so he his took so his took hold of the, his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. Joseph said to his father, Not like that, my father, 
because the, this one's the firstborn. Put your right hand upon his head. But his father refused and said, I know, my son, I know. He also will become a pupil, and he also will become great. But his younger brother will become greater than he, and his seed will be the fullness of the nations. Then he blessed them that day, saying, And you shall Israel blessed by saying, May God make you like Ephraim and like Manasseh. Thus he put Ephraim before Manasseh. Then Ephraim said to Joseph, Look, I am about to die, but God will be with you and will bring you back to the land of the fathers. Now I myself give you your one portion more than your brothers, that which I took from the land hand of the Amorites with my sword and my bow. And that's from the book of Genesis chapter 48 in the Old Testament, Pentateuch or Torah. And it's a tribute to today's National River Day. It's actually for the name, but um, you can read more about that. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And this is a... Uh, can I show you something that kind of messed me up? Um, this is a ribbon that represents... To check it out. Genesis chapter 2 describes the location of the Garden of Eden. Cool. Check it out. The link below for more. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah.